Okay, somebody has to say it. I don't know what's happening with the stars in the universe. I haven't checked the astrological charts lately, but something is going on, okay? That aside, I just want to I just want to talk about what's going on in the tech world first, right? The capitalists are psychopaths. The true capitalists, the capitalists are psychopaths and the bottom line is bottomless. It's a scam. It doesn't exist. There is no real bottom line, okay? The bottom line is bottomless and the capitalists are psychopaths, straight up. Second of all, with the whole globe being in disarray at the moment, let's talk about, and honestly, I'm talking from a, an American perspective. Let me be honest, right? Because there are people in a lot of different countries that have other more, you know, pertinent issues that are like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know if I'm going to live or die tomorrow. Like, something can hit me, right? Ukraine, okay, they're, you know, everywhere in the world, Cameroon, right? So I'm definitely talking about America, disarray complete utter disarray right so first the capitalists in the tech world you know like all right look at shaquilla robinson right goes to mexico gets unalived by a group of people right who she's acquainted with horrific horrific what happens? It all gets exposed on video. Video, full video footage of everything that went down. What does this do? Now I'm seeing talks instead of like, really getting to the bottom of this. There's so many rumors coming out. All of a sudden, the misogynists are also coming out because of this. The transphobes are coming out because of this. The homophobes are coming out because of this. Everything is just being wah, 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 exposed. And my nephew would agree. He agrees. Say hi to the people, baby. Say hi. Give them paw. Give them a paw. Hi. Don't you agree? Say wolf. There you go. See his ears? He totally agrees. But I'm going to make some um, baked treats for myself. But when I eat, I like to make something for him because I think it's torturous. Like having someone watch you eat. Like I think it's totally torturous torturous so if i'm making myself a snack or something to eat i'm going to make him something uber delicious as well so yay so you don't ever have to watch me eat you can eat with me as well so while i make these treats and i'm going to do these for myself and i'm going to make him a peanut butter ginger biscuit treat um while i do this for myself so that they all get ready at the same time and why I do this, I figure I talk to you about the madness that's going on. So if you're not paying attention, pay attention and take care of yourself. Pay attention to every single thing that's going on right now and please take care of yourself. All right? Give me a second. All right, awesome. So while that's happening, I'm going to make these ginger treats. And I'm going to put peanut butter because he absolutely loves peanut butter. You love peanut butter, don't you? Don't you, nephew you tell me? You love peanut butter, don't you? You love peanut butter. Don't you love peanut butter? Yes, you do. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with him. Obsessed with him. So let's make the treats and chat, right? So lately, what's been going on in the tech world, right? A lot of layoffs are happening. We're talking 50% of your staff being laid off. Some smaller startup techies, right? 70%. The bigger ones. Looks what's going on with a certain, you know, bird app, right? A huge percentage. But even Amazon also. Huge cuts. Tiny percent of the company. Huge, massive cuts, right? So the tech world is in complete disarray. Um, Afrotech was happening. I don't know if you want to go find your husband in Afrotech. Let me know how that went. But Afrotech is happening. But even as Afrotech is happening, the tech world is in disarray and we really need to talk about it, right? One of the reasons why I really wanted to bring this to light, my perception of what it takes to be a successful capitalist, a success, like really successful, in the you know corporate tech world in a capitalist system right you gotta be a psychopath 
right? Think about all the people who had all these tech startups. You think they're coming and being honest, like, oh yes, um, here's what I've accomplished, here's what I can do, here's what I wanna build, you know, here's the problem I wanna solve. They don't wanna really solve, like, deep, deep, deep down, the bottom line is how they will feel, right? The bottom line is building things to make them feel good about themselves. If you know, you know, right? Walking around being accomplished. And the means to an end is, all right, let me see a problem that I can solve. Or let me steal someone's accomplishments, put it under my name and say, yes, I did that. Whatever the case may be, the bottom line is not the money, the revenue, it's not the profit, so to speak, that you can keep making, making, making. No, it's how that profit is making someone feel, right? And so they will keep seeking that it is never enough. A friend of mine, you know, told me about something that happened within his company, right? And how um, there have been serious changes, even though they've been hitting their bottom line and hitting and kicking their results off the park, superseding their KPIs, yet huge cuts and huge changes. And for no other reason other than, oh my God, we just thought like, we made this much money last year we just figured like let's hit new milestones so we decided to reshuffle and redo everything find a few people here and there who were empathetic kind leaders ah! people who they considered super empathetic kind real thoughtful leaders all fired for who you got that right at the end of the day the psychopathic crazy ones stayed the racist ones stayed. Uh, but guess who got kicked? The empathetic, empathetic leaders who were hitting the ball like the, 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 the ball at the park, hitting and superseding their KPIs out. And he was like, I don't understand, it makes no sense. He was like perplexed, like, I don't get it. What's going on? What's going on? And so I had to remind him because he was like, all right, Chi Chi, you're right. I just got to give it to you. Like you were always right about the fact that these tech leaders, these corporate heads, these like they're all, these real capitalists are all psychopathic. They're all psychopathic. I've worked with a ton. I've worked with a ton. They're, they don't they don't care about the human in you or whatever, no. And the bottom line is bottomless. It's all about how they feel, right? Legacy is one thing because, take it, let me give you an example. Do you think that, show me any of these companies that you, that, 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 that they're saying like, okay, we've made billions, you know? Like let's strictly focus right now on like, forget the bottom line. Let's focus on maintenance and giving back. It's too much. Let's focus on no, no, it's never enough. The bottom line is bottomless. If you didn't know it before, understanding now, they're lying when they say, oh, we want to help people, we want to do this. No, they're solving a problem because that is the means to the end. That is it. Mm, look at that. Oh, he's going to love this. They're solving a, a problem because that is the means to the end, and that's that, right? That is the means to an end no other reason why right if they if they had to you know i don't know cut your fingers off and that was the uh, um the way it's been done and the way on, on what you have to do to get to where you go they will cut a few fingers off they've done it before they'll do it again right look at how they outsource etc and that's the truth right so now you have a certain a musketeer out there being outed right rumors are flying everywhere right on the the blogs and the news that for 27 years a certain musketeer that took over a blackbird company has been lying about your credentials are you are you surprised are you shocked are you because i have worked for companies where we would literally not have 
whatever they're they're selling right like obviously they would meet with potential clients they'll come to them can you do this for us can you do that for us do you think like you can provide these services and the, the and the leader will always say yes do you have a rocket that you can take to yes we have rockets but I thought you told me, I thought you told me that you have a, a nail company. Like you produce um, nail polish and you put that into the, you know, bless you baby, he has a cold. And you um, sell that to nail shops and nail businesses and to beauty schools. I thought that was what your company is about. So how come when I am asking, hey, who can build a rocket ship to take me to Uranus? You're like, ah, we, Absolutely, we can because they'll never say no. You approach them, ask them anything, even if you have to do their business. Yes, we of course we can. Never say no. I worked with someone like this and shocked me. Right? I was much younger, and that is when it was at that point in my 20s. It was at that point in my 20s when I realized that the capitalists are psychopaths. He was not the only one. This the capitalists are what? They're psychopaths. They will always say, yes, I can do. Yes, I will do. And they will sleep very well at night knowing very well they cannot deliver. But that doesn't matter. Did we get the deal? Wait, what? Wait, hold up. What? We didn't get the deal because what? We didn't get the deal because you said you said we cannot do this for, the, for them even though we really cannot? What? Why did you just say, yes, you could? Right? Why did you say, yes, you can do it? Like unethical but they'll sleep very well at night throw anybody under the bus and they'll sleep like babies they don't care right because what does that profit do for them it makes them feel like every night their mother didn't hug them who cares because they turned out building their own love within themselves through what through making other people miserable because everybody else deserves to be miserable because who cares worrying only about themselves because who cares i'm the only one that matters i need to make money i need to be happy i need to look good i need to live good you know at these other people like i matter like what i told you you're an idiot and you're crying about it at work please get out of here cry at home and wipe those tears and come back or stay at home like i don't care right that's how they talk that's how they reason they're not worried about you they're not tied to your emotional bruja if it doesn't affect them it's like why are you crying like why do you like if you say you need this money why don't you do whatever you need to like why aren't you stealing john's contact they're really looking at you like you're crazy like okay I've given you a deadline. Your deadline depends right now on you stealing something from your other colleague. Why don't you go steal it? That's how they look at you. They look at you like you are, you fashion your destiny. They look at you like you fashion your destiny. And I'm telling you right now that your you know you meeting your bottom line depends on you stealing from John. Just steal his contacts that we both know it. And then you come to my office and you're like, um, you know. We did everything we could we did that we did this so here's what we're doing instead of like getting their actual phone contacts we decided to get their emails blah, blah blah oh so wait you're telling me that you're giving me emails yes and it will still contact they'll be able to con we'll be able to contact them digitally but you didn't get their numbers that i wanted for that sms campaign because you didn't want to steal it from your like you don't want to ramsack his desk so that and get what you need so that he can get fired and you can keep moving. You're not the kind of person we want in this company. You're out. They can tell you straight up or they can subtly find a way to kick you out. Because you don't have the vim. You don't have the, the gut. You don't get liver. Right? And they can package your thing and say, no, we're all about love in this company. We're all about support. We're all about diversity and inclusion. We're all about, it's a lie. They're all about the bottom line. And the bottom line is what? Bottomless, right? Period. So here's what I made for my Zussi Poo. Look at that. Oh, he's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Ah. Oh. Even I like 
smells good looks good all right so let me get my stuff together let me get my own food together because you heard the bing it's ready and we'll eat some there you go come on come on yeah 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 okay there you go <laughs> yum yums all right you can have mine but you can have yours you can have yours Oh, you have two left. Mmm, mmm. And last. There you go. All right. Now I gotta wipe my hands. All right. So I want to talk about the Shaquilla situation while I eat my own snacks. Um, it's a travesty. There's so much around that, circling around that, especially this week. So we found out that this beautiful, young, um, very ambitious woman traveled to Mexico with some of her acquaintances and got unalived in a jungle justice manner, almost in her hotel room where she was literally beaten to a pulp by everybody watched. Someone filmed and they all got exposed, thankfully. 